Hi everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to trigger change event of a select element using JavaScript. So let's get started. Let's have a basic HTML structure here. We need one div element. We need one button here. Let's make it trigger change. We need one h1 element. Let's make it status. We need one select element. Just remove these attributes. We don't need them. Now I have a couple of options here. Let's put a couple of names. James, Marks, Peter and Alex. Same goes here. Include the script file, which is script.js. Add a style attribute here in the div element, and text align will be center. Save it. Open this file in the browser, and this is the output. Let's try to understand what I want to achieve here. As soon as I choose an option from the list, for example, let's say I want to choose Peter. So after choosing this Peter, I want to display its value here, which is Peter. Same goes in case of this button click. I want to trigger a change for this select element. Uh, let's say I want to choose Alex. So as soon as I click on this button, I want to choose Alex here. Also, I want to display Alex here. So let's start working on the JavaScript file. Let's select all the elements first. First of all, we'll select the button. Then we'll select the H1 element. And we'll select the select element. Now let's add event listener to the select element. And we are working with the change event. And this is the event handler function. Now, as soon as I change the option from the list, I want to display its value in the h1 element. So status.inner text will be equal to select dot value. Just save it, go to browser. Let's choose the option. Let's go with marks. So we are getting marks here. Let's go with Alex. We are getting Alex here. Now let's see how we can do this on the button click. Add event listener to the button. Event will be click. This is the handler function. We need a function here. The function will be trigger change. We we'll take an element as a parameter. And here we'll make use of new event constructor to create a change event and we'll simply dispatch it to the element like this okay on the button click first of all we'll change the value of select element let's say i want to make it alex and we'll call this function trigger change and pass the select element that's it now save it go to browser click you can see it's working. Let's try with marks. Save it. Click. See. So to trigger a change event of a select element, first of all, you need to change its value, which I'm doing here. And you also need to dispatch this change event, which I'm doing here. So only these two steps are required to trigger a change event of a select element. I hope you got the point how it actually works. See you in the next video. Have a nice day.